Now, first of all, we, we welcome the reduction of uh, the investment bank. I think it was uh, over the past year cut in, in several smaller pieces, and I think uh, credit Suisse became too, too, too small and the risk weighted asset there uh, too high and uh, too much uh, volatility on this market. So it's somehow a copy paste of the strategies that UBS did uh, about 11 years ago that we welcome. We also ask uh, Credit Suisse to, to move in that direction uh, for quite a while. So better now than never uh, on the reduction of the investment bank. Um, on the other aspect, um, we still believe that, yeah, the domestic bank has, uh, is, a, is a key asset of, uh, of, of the group. And um, that's why we, we are a little bit disappointed that the plan to potentially make a partial IPO of the Swiss division has not been explored anymore. It was an idea that Tiam put forward a couple of years ago. I think it could have had several advantages and, and really send a, a stronger message to the market. Yeah, let me ask you about the, I mean, given that you're um, representing uh, Swiss pension funds that have a sizable stake in Credit Suisse, how do you feel about the dilution and the involvement of the Saudi National Bank? So, yeah, the, the dilution, because the capital raise is made in two steps. So the first step is without preemptive rights uh, to, to favor a new, so private placement of new shares to Saudi National Bank, and the second part is with preemptive rights, so also diluting, but the, the preemptive right would have protected, protect actually the, the, the existing shareholders. So uh, actually the capital increase without uh, preemptive right in favor of uh, new investors um, exceed our dilution limit uh, set in our voting guidelines. And I discussed with several bench of our, of our member, and they all agree that the dilution there is too high, uh, and we do favor the part of the capital increase with uh, preemptive rights, uh, still believing that a potential partial IPO uh, of the Swiss division would have uh, also uh, be uh, a possibility to uh, raise capital without having to, uh, to dilute such uh, at such a level uh, existing shareholders. So we're not favoring this uh, first part of the capital increase without preemptive right. We also, as maybe you know, it does push a, a little bit of a sustainability question. It's at the forefront for us. We, we tabled last year um, at la the last uh, general meeting a shareholder resolution on the climate strategy. Credit Suisse remains one of the largest uh, lender to the fossil industry. We want the bank to reduce its exposure. Um, so I'm not sure this new shareholder will favor such a strategy. It's still to be seen. I'm a little bit afraid that our message for more sustainable, uh, more sustainable bank will be diluted among uh, the, these new shareholders. Vincent, the bad news from Credit Suisse has been endless over recent months. Now, as we look at the uh, client activity, we can see there's an impact. We are witnessing that across the industry given market conditions. But what confidence do you have that the bank can execute when conditions change around client activity, whether it's just going to be suffering an ongoing reputational risk element here? Yeah, it's um, it's, it's it's a great question. I mean, uh, Given the uncertainties and the, the, the fact that, yeah, there was big reshuffling on, on, on the management and on the board level, I would have been positive. But the latest news, typically to, to, to make such a, a capital raise and entering new, new investor without considering existing shareholders for such a part, not inviting shareholders uh, and holding a, a, a meeting which is even not broadcast, and we cannot attend the meeting. Uh, and I mean, there is also all those questions uh, regarding a potential conflict of interest of Mr. Klein, who is board member, we will run the first Boston, and Mrs. Masters, who actually uh, is a special advisor to Apollo. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 Mr. Lehman said they, 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 they recuse from all those decisions, but still, I mean, the. I think the, the, the board has to be now exemplary in, in conducting this. And this is a small signal we don't really like. If you want to restore trust, you do it clean. And that's why we're still not convinced. Um, and again, um, a stronger message with an IPO of the Swiss domestic bank would have reassured at least the Swiss pension fund that we are advising are all more in that direction to splitting uh, this bank, preserving the key asset. Uh, and then trying to exit the other one. They go the other way, one which I'm not sure is the best solution.